Greetings ladies and gentlemen, today we take a look at a music video. So join me as I break down a shot from one of my short films and show you how we made it from start to finish. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you should know the great Kalen Perkins. He's the genius music composer I work with to enhance all of my films. So when he dropped his new EP, I knew I needed to make a music video for it. Perkins agreed, and we started talking about a music video that would encapsulate all four songs. We filmed the entire piece in California, which limited the gear availability because you can only carry so much on a plane. And budget didn't allow for rental. The first thing we're going to talk about is this sunset sequence. The scene was shot a few minutes out of San Francisco, and the location was found by our dance coordinator and actor, Kelsey Boyle. The scene, like everything else, was shot on Blackmagic Pocket 4K with rocket on lenses. And we also purchased a LUT from Spencer Sakurai that we used to monitor the image for the entirety of the shoot. Not much to say about this shot, except that golden hour is the ultimate time to shoot film. The light color and silhouette makes it look otherworldly. The only downside about golden hour is the time. You only have, if you're lucky, 20 to 30 minutes. But let us move on to a day sequence, which was shot very close to the sunset scene. We shot this sequence handheld, with only natural light. Like mentioned before, we had no budget, and my tripod was too large to take on the plane. So the only lighting modifications were on the close-ups, where we used a large white shower curtain to fill in the shadows. And for the whites, we decided to shoot at a later time of day, so the sun was lower in the sky, adding more depth to the frame. Color-wise, we had our LUT from Spencer Sakurai, but we tweaked it in post as well, adding more saturation and further glow to the overall image as well as 16mm film grain for a touch of texture. Let's move on to some interior scenes, which actually used lighting. This frame was shot pretty close to midday, which explains the vicious sun outside. But I used the sun as a way to key the character, as the ground essentially became a large bounce, which reflected the light back up at our face. And you can unfortunately see the smoke machine, which we didn't even end up using. Shame. We also had a light frame right going through a small diffusion, boosting the luminance level in the foreground so we could see Kalen when he comes in. Night scenes can be a challenge, especially when you only have two lights, so simplicity is key. Speaking of key, the Aperture 120T was suspended on top of this treehouse area, pointing up at a large bounce. This way, we had soft light spilling over the actors. We also placed the lights in the background, shining in the garden, so it wasn't just black, adding more depth. Color-wise, we applied our LUD, adjusted the blacks, and warmed up the highlights. We also added a glow to the overall image. But that's it. Thank you all for watching, and if you have the chance, go check out the music video. It honestly was great fun making it, and if you enjoyed these videos, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. And next week, we look at